Ah, uh, what's going on? This isn't an art dump. Uh, right, so I've decided I'm going to do something different um, for this month because I've not really been doing so much cartooning uh, recently because I've been learning how to use Blender. So, yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm just going to uh, let you in on what it is I've been learning how to do. Well, you're basically... Um, just to, to keep things simple, as this is my first time doing a blender related video, uh, I'm going to make a donut. Uh, yeah, some of you might already be aware that there's a YouTuber called uh, The Blender Guru, and uh, he does a whole series about how to make uh, donuts and make them look yummy and appetizing. Um, so, yeah, uh, the. Uh, it's it's a great series. It's it's good for learning the sort of fundamentals of Blender, um, and yeah, uh, I've watched it over and over again uh, to kind of train myself. To like, the first time I tried to use Blender, like when I opened it up, I was like, oh no, there's no way I'm going to learn how to do this. <laughs> well, this is, just looks so advanced to me, um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I watched some of. The, these videos by Andrew Price, aka the Blender Guru, uh, and I learned some really valuable information. Um, so yeah, this the, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to show you what I can do. I'm just going to do it from memory uh, as best I can. Um, one of the things I've just remembered that I've got to do is I've got to think about um, the number of segments that I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of really technical stuff because I'm just finding that uh, this is one of those uh, tools where it, uh, as long as you can kind of get right into it and not worry too much about whether or not you're doing things right or wrong, um, just have fun with it, uh, then it, you, know, you can, you can uh, do some wonderful things. And yes, yeah, so, uh, right now I've decided on... Um, how I'm gonna uh, uh, set up my mesh and all the proportions and everything's everything is, is to my satisfaction. So um, the next thing is we we need to just make this donut look a bit bumpy because um, it's all about creating a, a kind of uh, believable donut. We don't want it to look neat and tidy. We want it to look all squishy and uh, Asymmetrical, you want to get rid of the symmetry. Symmetry is not good if you're trying to make something look natural, something that has character. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a lot of that when you. Um, and so, what I'm doing now is really just modeling. Uh, I'm not sculpting the donut, I'm just uh, working out how to tweak these vertices and these control points. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, for now, that's that's basically. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and. I'm not going to rush it, but I don't want to be here all day because, I've, I've done this enough times to kind of know, roughly how you do it. So when you go to shade smooth, that makes things look, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, that that's already looking kind of donutty. So uh, yeah, um, and I think what I might do. Just because I like to jump ahead, uh, I'm not going to wait to um, add the materials. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, in the tutorial that I watched, uh, materials is something that comes later, and it is a good idea to be patient and to work on the form first. But I'm just giving myself a little preview, and there's something that I picked up because uh, if you add a color to your object at this stage, um then there is there is something very important that you need to know and um I, i've done the uh, the main part of the donut so the next stage is to create the icing and you basically just use part of the mesh um of the of the donut shape and separate it so we have it as its own thing um so that one's going to be the pastry i'm just going to label these and that one is going to be the icing. Uh, so I seem to be remembering this okay. So if I go to material view, um, 
here's something you need to know. If if you want to change the color of the icing, you probably think, all right, I'll just select that, that uh, object and change the color, right? Well, not quite. If you try and change the color of the icing at this stage, sorry, I'm chewing gum. I, I, I hope I don't sound too gross. Um, yeah, uh, the whole thing turns pink. And why is that? Why did that happen? Um, because over here we have the, the name of the material and there's a number two. The two means that both of these objects, the pastry and the icing, are using this material because I use the duplicate method to get the icing shape. So that's why the icing remained the same color as the pastry and that's why it changes color with with the pastry as well. Um, so all you have to do, the number here that tells you how many objects are using that material, when you click on that, it detaches. So now, when I change the color of the icing, it only changes the color of the icing and not the cake, so that's good. Um, but you don't really need to think about that so much, that's just a little, it's a useful thing to know and uh, because um, Andrew Price uh, did the very sensible thing of um, building up the, the objects and, and focusing on shape and form um, in, like, in a separate stage, like, later on after that he went into materials. Uh, in, in the tutorials, that, that's a, a good idea, I think. Um, but as I say, it's just useful to know how materials work and how the different users uh, can affect uh, but I'm, I'm going to try and press on now so what I want to do I want to like so none of them have modifiers yet I should do that uh, to, the, to the main cake I'm going to add a subdivision surface and that, all that does is just smooth it out a bit um, and with the icing we want a solidify one and a subdivision one two I'm going to put the offset to the maximum so it puffs out and I'm going to bring down the thickness bring down the thickness um, let's make sure I can there's a little thing here you can tweak the clip start there we are so we can bash right into it and yeah that's uh, that's handy um, right so uh, we've got the bumpy donut we've got the icing uh, looking pretty good and now I just want to subdivide this this wireframe looks like we've got some potholes there <laughs> yeah um, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to uh, can I fix that let me see right uh, Oh, better change the smoothness. I always forget that. I always forget the smoothness. Smoothness is very important when you're subdividing. Because I think that's that's why um, the uh, subdivision surface modifier is so popular. Because uh, it, it just, it, it means that you don't have to worry so much about the smoothness of the shapes. Um, so that's a little bit bumpy, but that's okay because I like it that way. It's gonna, it's gonna look good. Um, so the same with this one here. Wireframe. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Just resurrect that little part of the uh, thing. And now I'm gonna make the icing dribble a bit. Um, let's see if I can remember correctly. What I've got to do is. Um, Invert the selection. I don't want to invert. Yeah, um, and hide that part. So we just have a ring around the donut. Ring, ring, ring around. Um, let's set that to sharp. Uh, this has to. This magnet thing up here has to be turned on. I have to go to face and also project individual elements. Very technical stuff. I can't really go into that myself. I'm not, I, I don't fully understand that enough to be able to uh, but I believe that's going to make it nice and dribbly bibbly um, if we go to object mode that looks pretty good um, maybe I'll, I'll crank up the uh, yeah 
the uh, subdivision uh, and there's a lot you can do with these um, Andrew made a very good point about again you don't want it to be too symmetrical so I think for this video that I'm doing um, instead of, I'm not going to go all the way around the donut round and round the donut uh, I'm probably going to do two sort of slight curves there and a longer one somewhere around here maybe oh yeah there's the extrude method that's quite nice so bring that down Z axis I say Z because I'm British and hmm, yeah, it's not so bad and I'm, I'm gonna puff that up a bit um, because I, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I might, uh, I might just uh, make it a bit wonky around here, so that the, looks a, a bit of an icing kind of. I don't want it to be too straight, really, because yeah, uh, Andrew sort of went around the whole thing and did lots of dribbles. But I'm just thinking, yeah, we want it to be kind of haphazard. Um, so we don't want the whole thing to have dribbly parts going down. Um, gonna curve those lines more um, and maybe do something on the inside so let's unhide option hide yeah uh, and I'm gonna go to wireframe maybe front view and then this is gonna come down I think I'm getting this right see how that looks oh no I think I got that very wrong so this is this is the um, the big reveal that I am a beginner and I have no idea what I'm doing uh, do I turn the magnet off for this bit please excuse any noises you might hear outside it's noisy out there that's better that's what But without the magnet, it, it sinks right in. I'm going to do that as it was in the tutorial. You know, um, sculpting. Um, I need to apply this. I'm going to be brave. I'm just going to... Right, no. Um, I'll, I'll make it back up. I'll make it back up. New collection. That's a good move. Like if, if you're not sure how the next stage is going to go, you want to duplicate it, and then you've got a backup copy, so you can slaughter this as much as you want. You don't have to just be merciless to it. And uh, let's see. Look at the grab tool there, and pinch those down a bit. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the uh, mirror option. Right, uh, that looks okay. Uh, I'm going to draw over it now. I'm going to draw all over my donut. So now some, oh, oh dear, that's too bubbly. I made it too bubbly. Yeah, my bubbly, 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 bubbly. Um, <laughs> far less strength than that. Far less. There we are, donutty, I see. I shall now make these bulge out a bit more, I think. And I always have to keep doing this bit so I can get it nice and close. Stronger. All right, now I'm going to add another. Sub oh yeah, apply that.
This is the part I'm not very good at. I haven't really mastered sculpting at all. Uh, it does not look very good. Just trying to smooth new tool there. <laughs> not much of an improvement, is it? Uh, Okay, I'll try, I'll try not to take too long. Clearly, this is a an area that I do need to work on, and uh, yeah. So anyway, because um, I, I was I was thinking about doing this as like a, a video diary kind of thing. It's, it's sort of an update on um, what I've learned how to do. Um, it's probably not looking incredibly impressive at the moment. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm going to be working on these, these, right. So as you can see, as I applied the first subdivision surface modifier, we now have lots more segments in the, uh, wireframe of the mesh. And now I'm going to try and, uh, curl this in a bit. Okay, so yeah, really don't want to be spending too much time on this. Let's just see what the colours look. It's pretty good. Okay, uh, I do not know where, where I'm supposed to go from here. Um, oh yeah, uh, more sculpting. <laughs> right, let's try not to take too long with this bit. But, um, basically... Yeah, it's sort of like a, a crease around the uh, circumference of the uh, the cake. This cake. So, yep. So we've got a bit of a dented part, and I find that yeah, this, this is just me. I um, I like to kind of add creases that go in the middle. We should turn up the strength a bit more. So you can't really see much. Yeah, it does. It does sort of add, add like a pinch to the, uh, the inside. Some wrinkles on the inside. Okay, I'm almost ready for the uh, the interesting stuff because this is not, not particularly thrilling right now. Yes, yeah, so now this stone has lots of imperfections that make it a bit more true to life, I think. Uh, so next, what I want to do is add. So so yeah, that that was just like a temporary color just to get an idea of what it might look like. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm going to replace. Ugh the color with an image texture and I have one saved in my blender projects folder I go to texture paint files I have lots over here this is my donut texture here's one I made earlier um, I mean it, it's not brilliant but it works um, in fact if I go to uh, I'll change that to cycles it's very grainy, but we get a better kind of. I'm going to turn up the light a bit more. Bit too much. Yeah, anyway. 
could be better. It's just <laughs> yeah. I uh, I need a lot of practice. <laughs> I, mean, I am trying to do this from memory, you know. <laughs> I'm putting together all the things that I learned from the tutorials. Um, right, uh, what we're going to do now? Uh, is it time for the sprinkles? Uh, why not? I'll just go ahead and do the sprinkles. Right, um, that is a UV sphere. Can I, I need to make smaller. One thing that I have learned. Um, and I don't think um, this was this was in those donut tutorials that Andrew did, but um, if you scale down an object like this in object mode, um, it's often good to go to object apply scale, um, and it just makes make sure that you don't get any nasty surprises later on. Um, so I'm just going to do. Or a basic sprinkle object. I like them to be that kind of length. I'm just going to make the the end part a bit more more stubby. I think. I think I just want to break down a bit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, can't remember. Can't remember what I'm gonna do. Uh, that's it. Yeah, scale it on the Z axis. Change move, and you know what? I can't really be bothered to do the whole uh, individual color thing because this isn't a tutorial. It's just uh, a summary of what I've, I've learned. Because um, the thing is, you've got to use nodes to um, create multicolored sprinkles, and uh, I just. I'm I'm still I'm, you know, I struggle with, with nodes. It's something that I'm still not very good at doing. So uh, I'm just gonna press on. It has to be an object. Okay, and a scale. Some white paint right here. Physics groups. Why are they underneath? Okay, uh, so origin to geometry. What am I missing? Was I supposed to apply the solidify modifier? Yes, that was it. That's what I didn't do. Okay, all right, nearly there. Um, let's uh, make them a bit more random. Because again, we want this to be haphazard type randomized phase. Um, I thought that would work. I 
I think that's what actually normal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe a bit more, more weight. Put lots of sprinkles over here. I think. It has to be uneven, we want it just to look like they've been sprinkled over. So there's a bit more there. I can go in the archive. Okay, um, is there anything else I need to do? Because there, there, there are so many ways you can fine tune the um, particles, but um, I think I think I might just leave it at that, I think. Um, I'll, I'll try and render because there, you know, there, there are lots more stages to the uh, donut um, exercise, but um, I think for now, with what I'm doing, I'm going to call it a day. I'm ready to render. Let's just see how it looks as a rendered image. It always takes a little while. There's a lot of shadow under the icing. So I did skip a lot of um, anyway yeah, it's not too bad is it <laughs> so yeah um, if you follow blend the blender guru um, le you know, lesson on uh, uh, creating CG donuts um, you can learn a lot more than this you can learn how to make the donut a bit more bumpy have it a bit more of a donut texture uh, so that it actually it actually looks like you could reach out and and uh, grab it and eat it um, so yeah uh, it is worth watching those and uh, just take notice you know <laughs> try a bit harder than I did here <laughs> but here's the thing because uh, after I uh, went through those videos and um, practiced making donuts. Uh, I made a lot of donuts. Uh, it, it did kind of allow me to learn how to do stuff like this. I'm just about to open here. Um, this is my attempt at a character rig. Uh, and this character belongs to uh, Mauve Squeaks on Twitter. Um, and uh, it's an artist that, um, well, actually, I. I I don't know what the right word for the, the, this this guy is, but um, yeah, they they have their own OC. Uh, this is Mauve, and uh, yeah, I, I decided as a little gift, I would create a CG model, and they were really happy with this. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I think this might be the best thing I've done on Blender. So you see, not everything I do looks awful. <laughs> yeah. um, this, this is, I, I'm still learning though, because uh, for some reason the limbs on this side, um, oh, I'll just go to pose mode, um, they seem to work all right. Um, yep, yeah, can move them. Okay, but the ones on this side, uh, not so much. They get very distorted. Um, but I wanted to show you this because this is um, kind of the extent, this is the level that I'm at now. Um, and yeah, I think if, if I'd have given myself more time, I probably, you probably would have been able to see me produce a much better looking donut. Maybe, maybe I'm just nitpicking, but I skipped over a lot of things, mainly because I didn't have a lot of time. Um, but this is my first Blender diary entry, and I'm hoping to make more of these. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I am off to the pub.